Okay. <clears throat> so, um, what we have here is my uh, 20, originally purchased in 2012 MacBook Pro. The top-end system, it was the first one that came out, came out with the Retina screen. It was the thinnest MacBook. It's powered with an i7 uh, processor, uh, you know, the 500 gig SSD, which was huge at the time. Um, and I think as much memory as you could buy in it. So we, we spent a lot of money, a lot of money on this thing. Um, and, and I believe when you buy a new computer, you buy the best and the biggest because you can keep them longer that way. You're not doing the, you know, the every three year Dell replacement that a lot of people have to do with Windows computers. So, um, about three years ago though, I was at the beach and spilled a little bit of coffee into um, the keyboard. And um, I'm sure the, the neighbors uh, heard, <laughs> heard the, the cussing um, because I thought, oh my God, I just ruined my computer. Um, you know, it's been off of Apple Care Plus for, for years now. Um, in 2016 though, they were, they were cool enough that um, while it was three years old and it was off of Apple Care, they did a complete um, replacement of the keyboard because the trackpad had stopped working. And um, well, that meant that meant a new microprocessor, new battery, um, basically everything but the screen had been replaced. So this is really, you know, a 2016 computer. Um, yeah, technically it was bought in 2012, but um, when you do a the battery analysis on it, it still says it's 84 uh, percent. So you know, Core i7 processor. Um, this thing outperforms most people's desktop computers still. So I don't want to have to to get rid of it at this point. However, I would love to get one of the new M1 MacBooks um, but that are running the uh, the new um, proprietary Apple Silicon. So I took it to Apple. Um, just got tired of dealing with the sticky. It worked just fine. Um, not a single issue with anything other than the keyboard just felt mushy. And when you the first time you would click a key, you would hear this. And then it would be okay for a few minutes. And then after it sit for a second, and I believe that was just the sugars that, you know, had, had you know, whatever sugar does after it sits uh, for a while, I think it starts to, you know, kind of create a gelatin or something. Um, so I took it to Apple. They did an x-ray on the machine and came back and showed me the picture. And you could clearly see that there was fluid down on the motherboard. Um, and um, they're like, yeah, we, we're not gonna, we're not gonna repair that keyboard. It's a unibody machine, you know. We're gonna have to pop each key off individually, and, it, and you're looking at eight to ten hours worth of work, and we're just not gonna do it. So what we recommend is that you either just, uh, you know, sell this one or, or, or keep it, or better yet, why don't you buy a new MacBook Pro and get the new M1 processor? Which, you know, I gotta admit, that's pretty exciting. So I got home, I went on YouTube. And ends up that this was a pretty common problem. I found an individual uh, on on uh, YouTube who had the exact same computer, and he took me through um, how to pop off each individual key, um, how to use you know a, a skewer or a, a toothpick to 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 kind of scrape out all of the the bad stuff, um, then take a uh, used um, uh, Q-tips, you know the good Q-tips. Um, you know, like the Cottonelle, don't don't use the generic plastic ones. Use the good ones that are based on paper because uh, they actually stay together. Dip those in some denatured alcohol. Just scrubbed around each one. Scrubbed underneath each key where I could. And so it took me, they were right, it took me at least eight hours. I think I started on it around noon. And uh, that night when Nam got home from work, I think it was 8.15, I had just finished. However, in the process of, of doing that, six keys broke and i thought oh boy you know what am i gonna do now ends up that there's a there's a website out there that this all they do they sell replacement keys and they're exact matches for um you know what you have uh on there today so it's like replacement key, key keys.com i'll put a link to it in the description 
Um, so I, I ordered six keys. They were like $6 each or what was it? I think it was 30, it ended up being about $38 with shipping to get the six. So you get the six keys, you get six new hinges, um, and you get um, the, these are like little rubber springy things. Um, I don't know what they're called actually, but everything I'd read and, and heard on the internet said, if you can avoid replacing those because somehow they, I guess getting them off and back on is kind of a pain and they weren't the problem. They work just fine. Every single one of them. Um, however, I have these six keys now that I need to either replace the, I either replace the key because if you look on the back here, there are these tiny little plastic, um, catches and they break very easy. I'm, I'm actually worried that, that I'm going to break some putting them on. And then on the hinges, you have these, these little tiny, uh, hinges, um, these little build outs on each corner, which also break very easy. And if any of those break, when you're putting it back together, your, your SOL, I mean the key, so you can see, um, the H key was one of them. I know I already took it off. Um, but the H key's kind of sitting in there halfway. Uh, which other one? The Z key, um, um, it was bad. The N and the I key just completely broke off. The V, uh, yeah, it's not sitting up properly. I think the bottom right corner on it's down. But using using the 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 Q tip and the um, the toothpicks, you know, I basically took every key off. First, they got a bath of um, denatured alcohol. I set them in that for a few minutes, then took them out of that and put them into water. And then you know dried them off, and then anything that was left on there, you just you just keep cleaning. And like it's a, it's a laborious process, but uh, I think very well worth it. None of the keys stick any longer, and so where we're at today is I'm in a position where um, uh, my keys have come in um, in the mail today, and so I'm not going to use these, but I am going to replace the the uh, the six hinges along with the uh the, the the six broken keys and so i was gonna we're gonna kind of go through the process of doing that so here we go um it is kind of um scary first time you try to to pop off a key because you feel like you're gonna break it um and so what you want to do is you typically you pop off the top left corner and then you pop off the bottom um but this one yeah that's how they're, I think how they're supposed to behave right there. Yeah, there, you hear that snapped, stamped in. So that one actually has a good hinge on it. Um, yeah, that's, that's how it's supposed to behave. So now we can take our new minus equals or minus, uh, you, you can see on this one here that it still had a lot of um, coffee or you know that the more I look at that I think it might have not be coffee could be some other substance like maybe some wine but um, it broke um, a couple of these off a little bit so that's why we had to replace it putting the key back on is pretty easy you just need to make sure you got it in the right direction um, that's why I always have a reference keyboard okay the big the big line at the top and really it's just There you go. That's it. New key. Works perfect. Pretty good. All four corners still good. It's got a little bit of a noise to it. I don't know if that'll. I don't know if that'll stop with. That'll close down with time. It's got a little bit of a. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Something just wasn't. Wasn't right. All right. So you may have to. You may have to kind of. You know. 
manhandle a few of these from time to time to get them to work properly. All right, which one we want to do now? Um, what's next to the U? Okay. Well, as you can see, we've got um, all of the um, all of the keys now installed. Um, everything's working perfect. Um, I've got Microsoft Pages up and running on the on the screen, so we'll just uh, we'll go down here so that it can get displayed. All right, and we'll start typing some keys. So Q W E R T Y O P uh, A S D F G H J K L Z I C V B N P. Everything's fine. Nothing is sticking. Um, <clears throat> I did have a lot of trouble getting one particular key on, and that was the I key. And it ends up that, as I feared, trying to put on the new key, um, I did um, I did break the new key. And so, uh, ended up with a couple extra keys, and ends up that one of those keys that wasn't broke uh, was a V. And so, with the use of uh, you know a little bit of a, a sharpie um, on on one of the arms of the V, uh, I uh, you can see here, uh, there it is. I I basically created an italics I. So. You know, I guess I could go back and order a new eye for $6.99 and pop it on, but as much trouble as I had with that particular key, uh, good enough for a 10-year-old keyboard uh, and computer. So I think we're just going to leave it as is. I know it's an eye. It's muscle memory. I don't even really ever look at it anyway. Um, but, you know, it, it it is easily confused with the, what is this, the, the backslash, I think, right? So, um, but... I call it an italics eye. There you go. If you have a, if you have a, you know, a 2012 through 2016 Retina MacBook Pro and you've had a similar issue with it, it still works great, but it just needs, uh, you know, cleaned out and, and um, new keys, then uh, uh, you can do it yourself and uh, you can make it work. I basically have a brand new computer again. Um, so very, very excited about that. Uh, because we have Final Cut Pro on here, uh, which is what I will be um, editing on my videos and going forward. Um, I did find out yesterday that using Final Cut Pro on this, what is this, a 15-inch monitor or 17-inch monitor, I can't remember, um, is just, it, it's a little too small. So um, I have uh, connected it to my 27-inch 4K monitor back here. Much easier, much easier for editing, um, for editing video on. Remember, if you like, um, please uh, indicate with a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it.